will examine the core business undertakings of the company, repair and maintenance of submarine cables. It is all calm on board at the mooring point just off the coast of Singapore. But at any time, the call could come to signify a cable break. And then, the crew have only 24 hours to prepare themselves and the ship for action. This is the exact procedure for this kind of call. It is made to look relatively simple, and that is the real secret of the success of the operation. In reality, the procedure involves a very complex series of events that must be totally coordinated, relying on teamwork, cooperation, and speed. Just before the retriever embarks on her journey, she must dock at the Sembawang depot to collect spare cables for the operation and any extra equipment that may be required. Once this has been carried out, it's all systems go. The crew must now navigate successfully to reach the location of the cable break. The ship is totally equipped for this kind of operation. She is able to repair cables of French, Japanese, American and British design and has all the necessary modifications to undertake both shallow and deep water repairs. For buried cables, a remote control submersible is deployed. Once the site of the break has been reached, the cable is located. Using grapnels, the cable is brought up onto the deck and the repair procedure can begin, utilizing the whole crew. This can take place during the day or at the dead of night. The source of the cable fault must then be located. Once the fault has been isolated, the cable can be repaired and rejoined. When further testing proves the cable is again fully functional, it can be returned to its original position on the seabed. This procedure sounds relatively simple, though in reality it's very complex and must occur whatever the conditions at the time. Speed and efficiency once again mark this ACPL operation, and the crew can return to port satisfied they have carried out their tasks to perfection.